back to my channel. But before anything, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Add the notification bell if I'm notified when I upload. So as you see by the title and thumbnail, today we're going to be... Well, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top 10 Disney Plus movie recommendations that I recommend you guys to watch. Which are pretty interesting to me and probably will be to you. So let's get this video started. So I have my list right here of all the 10. I only have 10 because I mostly watch shows at the moment. So um, each movie that I say, I'll put a picture of it so you can see how it looks. So to start off, the first one is Onward, which is a new movie that came out, I think, March 6th, if I'm not mistaken. But it came out on Disney Plus because I didn't go to the movie theaters because of quarantine. So, um, a little description of what it is. It's teenage elf brothers Ian and Barley embark on a magical quest to spend one more day with their late father. Like any good adventure, their journey is filled with cryptic maps and possible obstacles and imaginable discoveries. This movie, like, is the best movie. It's my number one movie at the moment because it's, like, very touching and it's very sad. It actually made me cry. The second one is Aladdin, which is the actual, actual, actual human-based one. Not the cartoon one, but the human version. So, a little description is, Aladdin is a lovable street urchin who meets Princess Jasmine, the beautiful daughter of the Sultan of Agrabah. This movie is beautiful because it's a Disney movie and it's Dis it's Disney princess as well. Me personally, I grew up watching Disney movies and Disney princesses and I was actually most of the Disney princesses at, for Halloween. I dressed up as a Disney princess, so I recommend you guys watching it. The third one is the 13th year. Which just takes it back all the way to 1990 something or 1980 something. It's an old movie. And old movies are the best, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. So, the little, little description is As a boy, Chess Starbuck approaches Abdullah's. He grows scales and fins, communicates with fish, and breathes underwater. So, basically, a baby that a little mermaid. Little Mermaid, but a mermaid had turns out her son was adopted, and on his 13th birthday, he turns out to be a fish, a merman. It's a good movie, I recommend you guys watching it. The fourth one is Big Hero 6, and you guys have probably heard of it. It's an old movie, but it's a Disney movie, and it's a good movie little description on it is robotics prodigy hero ryan potter lives in the city of san francisco next to his older brother tadashi hero's close, closest companion is baymax scott edison a rebel a robot whose sole purpose is to take care of people this movie is beautiful and i recommend you to watch it the fifth one is herbie rides again I remember watching this movie, but it's been a while. So, by not letting him buy her house, Miss Stenman's Helen Hayes foils the plans of Alonzo Hawk, Keenan Wynn, a property developer who wants to build a shopping mall in downtown San Francisco. So, Hawk plots to force her out. I mean, I don't remember it quite well, but if you want a funny comedy movie, there's this movie. The sixth one is The Sandlot Heading Home. I have watched all the Sandlots, and my favorite one is the first one. But after a while, they started making more, I guess. I just like the first one because it's like more better than the other ones, but the other ones are interesting as well. So this one is Awakening to discover that he has been mysteriously transported back to the scrappy Sandlot where he first discovered his love of the game. So it's just kids who have like a place of their own where they play baseball and it to, to just come up with more games and everything. The seventh one is High School Musical. Yes, High School Musical, the original one, the one with Zac Efron, um, Vanessa Hudgens, Ashley Tisdale, um, what's the other guy's name? Corbin Blue, I think that's his name, if I'm not mistaken. 
but the original cast members and the original movie not the one they're making now or made but like the original the original Troy Bolton, Zach Efron, the stud athlete at a small town high school, falls for nerdy beauty. Gabriella Montez, Vanessa Ann Hudgens at a holiday karaoke party. So, if you're me, if you're like me and you like seeing while watching a movie, I recommend you watching High School Musical. Not the new one, but the old one, the original one with the original cast. Because it's better, honestly, to, in my opinion, than the new High School Musical. The eighth one. Is descendants in a present day a Rodadon Ben the benevolent teenage son of King Adam and Queen Belle offers a chance of redemption for the troublemaking offspring of Disney's classics villains Cruella de Vil, Maleficent the evil queen and Jafar so the descendants they have I think three parts of this so you can watch this one first and then continue on to the series of so the other three the other two after these after this one, it's a good one because, like, who doesn't like singing things, singing movies, or, like, watching the villains and then the not-so-villains? Number nine, Lizzie McGuire. Lizzie McGuire is an old movie, and I have watched it, and it's a good movie. So, the little description for that is, Enter the world of Lizzie McGuire at, her own, at your own risk. A world where the 13 year old and her best friends Miranda and Gordo write the roller coaster existence of a middle schooler. So, this is an old movie, and usually old movies from back from the 1900s are like best, and the beginning of the thousands are the best as well. And the last one is Coco. Despite his family's generation's old ban on music, young Miguel dreams of becoming an accomplished musician like his idol, Ernesto de la Cruz. So, the movie Coco is a family-friendly movie, and it's very, like, touching if you watch it with your family members, and it really has, like, a, a, like, purpose to it and a meaning to it if you watch it carefully. So, there are, those are all my top 10 Disney Plus movies, and if you want more recommendations, comment down below, and I'll be sure to give you guys more recommendations. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new and turn on the notification bell if you're notified when I upload. And I'll catch you guys in my next video.